Good afternoon, graduates, families, and friends of graduates, faculty members, colleagues, trustees, and honored guests. I'm Jeffrey Carlson, and as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, I am privileged to convene Dominican University's undergraduate commencement on this ninth day of May, 2021. Although today we gather virtually, the distinctively relationship-centered community that inhabits Dominican's familiar buildings and landscape transcends the architecture and boundaries of any particular place through its spirit of caritas and veritas. For today then, your presence and the joy of all being here together imbues this event with the spirit of Dominican. Lizbeth Montoya, representing today's class of 2021, will deliver this morning's invocation. Lizbeth was born in Mexico, but raised in Chicago. At Dominican, she was an intern for Ministry en lo Cotidiano, which influenced her to major in theology and minor in education. Good afternoon. God, we gather today with joyful hearts. We thank you, God, for all that you have allowed us to accomplish. You've taught us what perseverance and resilience is all about. You've instilled those characteristics in all of us, and for that, we are eternally grateful. Nos reunimos hoy con corazones alegres. Le damos gracias a, a Dios por todo lo que nos has permitido lograr. Nos has enseñado de qué se trata la perseverancia y resiliencia. Nos han inculcado sus características a todos. We thank you, God, for all the opportunities you've given us here at Dominican and for all the angels you've placed in front of us in the form of faculty and staff members. On this special day, we are also praying for our beautiful mothers. Without them, it would, be, it would have been impossible for us to be here. May you bless them with your own special love on this day and every other. En este día especial, también oramos por nuestras hermosas madres. Sin ellas, hubiera sido imposible estar aquí. Que las bendigas con tu propio amor especial en este día y en todos los demás. As we continue into this marvelous experience of life, God, we ask you to keep guiding us wherever you know that we should be. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. Dr. Donna M. Carroll has served Dominican University as president since 1994. As most of you know, Dr. Carroll is retiring. And so today she is presiding over her last commencement ceremonies. Dr. Carroll's transformational, inspiring leadership will be remembered always as she takes her place alongside those other courageous, faith-filled women who have led Rosary College and now Dominican University. I know I speak on behalf of all of the faculty, staff, and students of Dominican University when I say that it has been our privilege to have had her as our president, our leader, teacher, mentor, advocate, colleague, and partner. It is my pleasure to introduce President Donna M. Carroll. Good afternoon, graduates, colleagues, family, and friends. We gather as the extended Dominican family, full of hope and inspired by mission, to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2021. I feel a special kinship with this class because of all that we have overcome this past year. And because as you heard, I too am graduating after 27 years as president. A virtual commencement is not what you or I would have chosen for our last academic hurrah. However, nothing can diminish the joy of this moment or the magnitude of your achievements. Graduates, you have worked hard to attain competence in your disciplines. You've been challenged by a fine faculty. And in the process, your heart has been tested as well as your mind. At Dominican, you have learned that learning demands more of you, more discipline, more self-reflection, more engagement. As a consequence, you have learned to ask not merely 
What do I want from life? But also, what is life asking of me? And how do I navigate thoughtfully and with compassion in this complex and increasingly interdependent world? The theologian and scholar Thomas Merton once wrote that compassion is the keen awareness of the interdependence of all things. At Dominican, we link compassion with the pursuit of truth because we understand that interdependence, that is care for others, is a choice that only those who are self-aware can make. And so graduates, as you pause to celebrate this penultimate moment of transition, I hope that your academic journey has expanded your curiosity and opened your heart. I hope that the Dominican ethos has sparked in you a commitment to the common good, as well as a drive to be successful professionally. And most important, I hope that the learning process has left you restless, seeking to create a more just and humane world. You, the class of 2021, are an amazing class, high-spirited, resilient in the face of unprecedented challenges, and determined to reach this milestone and beyond it to a bright future. It is my privilege to be your president and your classmate. Congratulations. And now to begin today's celebration of our students' academic achievement, I am delighted to introduce the 2021 Dorothy Reiner Mowroy Award recipient. Each year since 1983, the university has bestowed the Mowroy Award upon a graduating senior. This is the most prestigious award a Dominican undergraduate can receive. The award was established by the late Thomas R. Mulroy in memory of his wife, Dorothy, a member of the class of 1931. The Mulroy Award honors a student who has shown outstanding academic ability and leadership throughout her or his years at Dominican. I am pleased to announce on the recommendation of the selection committee that the recipient of the 2021 Dorothy Reiner Mulroy Award is Lauren Burgett. Lauren, please step forward and join me at the podium. Lauren is pursuing her Bachelor of Arts degree with a double major in psychology and black world studies. She worked as a research assistant and developed her own degree with distinction project entitled The Power of Relationships, bridging the gap between race and college retention. She presented her findings at URSI and the Midwest Psychological Association Conference, both of which were held in April. During her time at Dominican, Lauren has earned numerous scholarships, including the Bernadette Elizabeth Conley Endowed Scholarship, the Founders Scholarship, Trans Canada Scholarship, and the Excel Scholarship. She also received the Schmidt Scholarship to engage in social change projects, using the data from her degree with distinction project to implement micro interventions within our village program to better serve our African-American students. Over the past two years, Lauren has worked in our student success and engagement office as a peer leader, mentoring students throughout their college experience. She has also been involved in numerous clubs and organizations at Dominican, including the Black Student Union and the National Association of Colored Women's Club. Most recently, she worked with student leaders to create our brand new Center for Cultural Liberation. Outside of Dominican University, she strives to continue the fight for social justice and social change. As the co-founder and executive board member of QC Black Lives Matter Support Group, and as a creator of a project called Hashtag Not One in the Spirit that was created to bring light to the discrimination and hatred issues at her former high school. After graduation, Lauren will continue her studies at Roosevelt University, where she received a graduate assistantship and scholarships to help fund most of the tuition cost. 
After this five-year program, she will gain her doctorate in clinical psychology and be a licensed psychologist. Please join me in recognizing the 2021 Morai Award winner, Lauren Bergert. Good afternoon. To the Dominican University faculty, staff, trustees, and the class of 2021, I want to start by thanking everyone who has sub supported me throughout my journey to get to this point in my life. I am honored and truly blessed to be named this year's Dorothy Reiner Mulroy Award recipient. I have spent my years on campus trying to fight for what we know to be right in the alignment with Dominican's mission statement. I have strived to be academically strong inside and outside of the classroom in an attempt to pursue truth. I have volunteered on numerous boards and organizations to give compassionate service, and I have fought passionately for radical justice and equality in order to create a more just and humane world. With that all said, I know I'm not the only one who has dedicated the past number of years to these ideals. I accept this award on behalf of our entire class as we all continue to be change makers in our world both big and small. Thank you again for this prestigious honor. Thank you, Lauren. Congratulations again. Dr. Chad Roman, Dean of the Rosary College of Arts and Sciences will now present the Mother Evelyn Murphy Excellence in Teaching Award. Mother Evelyn Murphy served as Dean of Rosary College now Dominican University from 1928 to 1937, before becoming president of the college. Under her leadership, the college's reputation, both for academic rigor and social activism, increased significantly. For half a century, undergraduates have voted to select the Mother Evelyn Murphy Excellence in Teaching Award recipient. This year, the students have selected Dr. Clodagh Weldon to receive the 2021 Mother Evelyn Murphy Excellence in Teaching Award. Cloda, please join me at the podium. Dr. Cloda Weldon serves as Professor of Theology, Chair of the Theology Department, and Director of the Oxford Study Abroad Program, which gives her the opportunity to return to Oxford University, where she earned her bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. She has taught at Dominican since 2000. She's the author of Father Victor White, OP, The Story of Jung's White Raven, and co-editor of Teaching Jung. Cloda is now a two-time recipient of the Mother Evelyn Murphy Award, having previously won in 2005. She was even featured as a case study of highly effective undergraduate teaching in Barbara Walvoord's Teaching and Learning in College Introductory Religion courses. Clearly, she is reaching students in many positive ways, evidenced by her stellar student evaluations. RCS is particularly grateful for her work as theology chair her leadership of and innovation, innovative thinking about the theology major and minor, as well as her consistently strong contributions to the honors program, as well as the senior level enduring question seminars, which she has taught for many years. Cloda, thank you and congratulations. If you're at home watching this commencement with your family, now's the time to go and make that cup of tea. <laughs> Just be back in two minutes. Class of 2021, congratulations. I didn't expect to be standing here today. Thank you for that surprise. I'm sure you weren't expecting a virtual graduation. Life is full of things we don't expect, like Tales of the Unexpected, a show I loved when I was a kid in England back in the 70s. I know, that surprised you. Think Twilight Zone with British humor. A few days ago, a student told me that, much to her surprise, she'd been thinking a lot about the novel The Brothers Karamazov during the pandemic. Somehow she found herself wondering, with one of the main characters, Ivan, about all the suffering in God's world. And at the same time, she found herself inspired by his brother, Alyosha, to respond with acts of love. And she was surprised. She wasn't expecting to think about that 776-page book ever again. Of course, 
I wasn't surprised at all. There's a gorgeous scene in the movie Shadowlands where C.S. Lewis says to one of his students, we read to know we're not alone. Do you think that that is so? And the student pauses for a moment and replies, well, I hadn't thought of it before like that. The books and the questions and the ideas and the people who have accompanied you on your journey will continue to be a gift to you and to those you encounter throughout your life. So watch out seniors. Aristotle is gonna surprise you when you're least expecting it. Sorry about that. And Pope Francis and Thich Nhat Hanh and Isabel Allende and Ralph Ellison and the Bible. And when they do, let those moments of surprise challenge you anew and inspire you to pursue truth, offer compassionate service, and participate in the creation of a more just and humane world. We have great expectations of you. At Dominican, we expect the unexpected, and we know you'll come back and surprise us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cloda, and congratulations again. Madam President, it is now my pleasure to present Dr. Mary Ellen Caron, a 1975 graduate of Rosary College, who is recommended for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. Mary Ellen Caron has had the best interest of children in heart and mind. She has spent her entire adult life enhancing the lives of youth, particularly those who are marginalized and under-resourced. As Chief Executive Officer of After School Matters, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year, Karen manages one of the country's largest and most successful providers of after-school programs and paid summer internships for Chicago teens, 84% of whom live in low-income communities. Under her leadership, the nonprofit organization has experienced significant growth in participation, programs, and financial resources. Karen brought to After School Matters years of experience as a child advocate and teacher. Prior to her appointment in 2012, she worked for the City of Chicago as Commissioner of the Department of Family and Support Services and as the Commissioner of the Department of Children and Youth Services. From 2001 to 2004, she served as Special Assistant to Chicago Public Schools CEO Arnie Duncan. After graduating from Dominican University, Karen started her career as an elementary school teacher in the Austin neighborhood and before her appointment as principal of St. Thomas Aquinas School. In 1989, she became the founding principal of Francis Xavier Ward Elementary School, an innovative Catholic school launched by Maggie Daly and Father Jack Wall of Old St. Patrick's Church. Karen holds a doctoral degree in educational leadership and policy from Loyola University and serves on the boards of directors for multiple youth and education related advisory committees in Chicago. For her fierce advocacy for Chicago's most vulnerable children and her dedication to helping them unlock their full potential, Dominican University is proud to present our alumna, Mary Ellen Karen, with a Doctor of Humane Letters, Inaris Causa. By the power vested in me by the Cincinnati Dominican Congregation, the Board of Higher Education of the State of Illinois, the trustees of Dominican University, and with the approval of the faculty, it gives me great pleasure to confer upon you, Dr. Mary Ellen Karen, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Thank you, Dr. Carroll, and thank you for all your work and outstanding contributions to growing Rosary College into the Dominican University we have today. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2021. This is your day. Celebrate and enjoy. This last year and a half has been a challenging time, and yet here you are, full of knowledge and resilience. The knowledge you have gained at Dominican University and the resilience you have learned through the pandemic will serve you well as you move through your life. I'll leave you with three thoughts. 
Love your work. It matters. Remember who and where you came from. And make friends with the other, other races, other religions, and other political perspectives. It will help you understand and empathize. And we're counting on you to bring us all together. For today, celebrate you and all who've helped you to get to this moment. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Madam President, it is now my pleasure to present Tim King, who is recommended for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. After receiving his honorary doctorate, President King will briefly address our graduates. President King, please join me. Kavita Danwada, founding dean of the Bora College of Health Sciences, and Professor Cloda Weldon will assist President King with his doctoral hood. Jacob Booker, founding dean of the College of Applied Social Sciences, will read the citation recognizing President King. Will you all please step forward? Good afternoon and congratulations, graduates. Tim King did not grow up like the young black men to whom he has dedicated his life, but he is determined to provide them some of the same pathways that propelled his success. As founder and CEO of Urban Prep Academies, King instills in his students a firm belief in their potential and ability to succeed, regardless of their circumstances. King grew up in an affluent Chicago neighborhood filled with doctors and lawyers and business owners, all of whom served as role models. His parents, members of Chicago's black elite, created a philanthropic foundation and instilled in their son the importance of giving back to his community. King attended St. Ignatius College Prep, where he excelled academically and participated in a plethora of extracurricular activities. While attending Georgetown University Law School in Washington, DC, he taught history at a nearby Catholic high school, an experience that sparked his passion for leveling the playing field that divides privileged and disadvantaged students. In 2002, King founded the first of three all-male urban prep academies in an effort to address Chicago's dismal graduation rate for black males. The network now serves 1,500 young men each year, providing stability and safety as well as a rigorous curriculum and a wide variety of extracurricular activities and community service opportunities. Since 2010, 100% of urban prep graduates have been admitted to four-year colleges. King has justifiably been lauded for his work, including by People Magazine, which named him one of the, its heroes of the year, and by Chicago Magazine, which included him as a 2010 Chicagoan of the year. For his efforts to change the trajectory of so many young people's lives by giving them a roadmap to a better future, Dominican University is proud to present Tim King with a Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. By the power vested in me by the Cincinnati Dominican Congregation, the Board of Higher Education of the State of Illinois, the trustees of Dominican University, and with the approval of the faculty, it gives me great pleasure to confer upon you, Timothy J. King, Esquire, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Thank you very much, President Carroll. Thank you very much, everyone at Dominican University, trustees, administrators, staff, teachers, and students. It was once said of John Coltrane that all he needed was one note. Graduates, some of you may be a little too young to know much about Coltrane, and while technically you're done with college, I think you might still have a little bit left in you for a small history lesson. Coltrane was arguably the greatest jazz saxophonist that ever lived. He collaborated with all of the giants, including Duke Ellington, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, and Thelonious Monk. 
He was so good, in fact, that he even won a Pulitzer Prize. No matter what Coltrane was playing, whether an original composition like Lazy Bird or a reimagining of a classic like My Favorite Things, there was no doubt that he made his music his own and all he needed to do it was one note. When you hear the first note in Michael Jackson's song, Beat It, you know what follows. When you hear the haunting first note of Whitney Houston's rendition of I Will Always Love You, just the word if, sung a cappella can give you chills. When you hear that first guitar intro in Luis Fonsi's Despacito, every subsequent lyric, every image of the music video is then brought to mind. You see, all you need is one note. And Dominican University stars, the world is waiting to know what your one note is going to be. We think life is made up of big decisions, big choices, and sometimes it is. But most of the time, it is not. Most of the time, what happens in our lives happens because of the tiny choices and the tiny decisions we make each day. It is the small things that become the big deals. It's individual actions that become chain reactions. It is the one note that creates the song. Your families have fed you, clothed you, and protected you so that you can express that note. The Dominican University teachers, administrators, and staff have spent countless hours helping you hone that note. Your classmates have challenged you, supported you, joked with you so that you could test that note. Understand though, that there are gonna be people who will try to keep you from sharing that note with the world. There will be people who will want to decide for you what your one note will be. There will be people who will tell you that you cannot play your one note. They'll say it's too loud, too scary, too different, too you. And then there will be people who upon hearing your note will misinterpret it or say it's a lie. Do not let them silence you. What you've done and what you will do matters. Your one note matters. Will your note be one of cowardice or courage? Will your note be one of stagnation or stimulation? Will your note be one of loathing or love? All you need is one note, and you may not even realize it, but you've already started to play it. You play your note by making it through a pandemic that is devastating a world. You play your note by standing up in a city where thousands of black and brown people are struck down by guns each year, including a 13-year-old boy named Adam Toledo. You play your note by being the embodiment of charity, by being the embodiment of truth. You will take your one note and write it, play it, Sing it in classrooms, nonprofits, hospitals, law firms, labs, startups, banks, and every place else. All you need is one note. One note that will become the song that is your life. One note that is a symphony that will change this world forever. Congratulations, Dominican University class of 2021. I cannot wait to see and hear the glory that is your one note. Thank you so much, Tim. We often talk about aspiring to educate one student at a time here in the company of others and your compelling talk about having every student discern their one note so resonates with what we're attempting to do at Dominican. I really loved your talk, your one talk. Thank you. 
And now to present this year's candidates for bachelor's degrees from Dominican University, Dr. Kavita Danwada, founding dean of the Bora College of Health Sciences, Dr. Roberto Kersey, dean of the Brennan School of Business, Dr. Jacob Bucher, founding dean of the College of Applied Social Sciences, and Dr. Chad Roman, dean of the Rosary College of Arts and Sciences. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Kavita Thanwada, founding dean of the Bora College of Health Sciences. Madam President, I have the honor to present the candidates for the degrees of the Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Medical Science, and the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. They have complied fully with all of the requirements of Dominican University's Bora College of Health Sciences, and they have been recommended to, by the faculty to the trustees of the university for their degrees. Giselle Almazan. Jelena Alnas. Marcelo Altamirano. Patrice Margaret Argello. Egla Barrera. Cassidy Barth. Pranvera Biba. Julie Brewer. Abby Elizabeth Brown. Naima Burns. Maria Cervantes. Karina Contreras. Jocelyn Jasmine De La O. Daryl August De Leon. Ascale M. Facey Phillips. Alice Gisela. Gabriela Gomez. Estefania Gomez Mejia. Kimberly Nori Gonzalez. Ashley Nicole Grant. Michelle Carolina Gutierrez Medrano. Veronica Erla. Meili Jimenez. E.G. Kika. Michaela Maria Lozano. Kira Lynn Ludwig. Olivia Magnuson. Yvonne Martinez. Denora Medrano. Mariana Mischancho. Matthew Mulitza. Ludmila Nahorna. Bernadette Nowacki. Julia Marie Orozco. Christina Marilyn Delcia Alri. Diona Raffi. Marla Salazar. 
Karina Saucedo. Yesenia Subtelia. Robin Renee Sykes. Re Uchida. Mariella Elaine Perez Valdez. Royale Lynn Walker. Fausat Akinyemi. Javier Alvarado. Anusha Amin. Danica Ann Antis. Alexandra Arneino. Alexandria Bawal. Kieran Buckley. Maria Calderon. Destiny Annette Marie Dallas. Juan Manuel Diaz. Rebecca Firstenau. Noreen Galleon. Julia Garcia. Sarah Garcia. Kailani Gaetan. Ajoa Boabema Gansa. Jessica Graham. Chad Michael Gerdish. Sharuk Hamid. Rodina Enriquez. Janiel Colleen James. Rabia Khan. Jackson Matthias Kumpf. Ailea Lopez. Linda Mack. Griffin Moore. Elise Munganga. Jessica Noel Page. Sarah Palacios. Barvi Rajaguru. Joshua Raimundo. Briesha Sachtev. Rebecca Staff. Erica Morgan Stevens. Julie Melissa Suarez. Elizabeth Tapoy. Casey Thompson. Olivia Tuck. Clinton E. Wilm. Noor Naftaji. Nicolette Sierpiala. Diana Clancy. Corina Jensen. Daniela Limon. Diana Marin. Kimberly Marisi. 
Issa Maris Saez. Nicole Stewart. Michaela Webb. Michael James Zielinski. Maria Cecis. Brittany Elizabeth Chapin. Matthew Dahl. Leah Costos. Jason Anthony Curco. Mireya Martinez. Solange Sims Gianetto. Tanya Elena Sotelo. Bethany E. Teeter. Vera Soraya Torres Vicencio. Priscilla N. Vargas. Cristos Vasilacos. Ashley Wendell. Good afternoon. I'm Roberto Cursi, Dean of the Venice School of Business. Madam President, I have the honor of presenting candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Business Administration. They have complied fully with all the requirements of Dominican University's Brennan School of Business, and they have been recommended by the faculty to the trustees of the university for their degrees. Rosa Alvarez. Haya Alyashiai. Nora Alashie. Maria Delgado. Esperanza Lisette Gomez. Gisela Hurtado. Gianna Kesca. Taras Kovostiak. Gerardo Lopez. Augustino Magnelli. Jose Alejandro Marchand. Elaine Martinez. Pablo David Montalvo. Jeremy Parker. Ana Patino Perez. Angelica Sosha. Harrison Stanny. Juan Ricardo Varela. Victoria Vilgus. Sultan Aldarsuni. Vito Benigno. Christian Carion. Eli Geha. Vanessa Herrera. Monica Loriano. Jennifer Lopez. Alyssa Lee Molina. 
Paula Montenegro. Ariel Sigaran. George Stanton. Christian Zaragoza. Lucy Bax. Sarah Brown. Juan Fernando Gallegos. Zacchaeus T. Hurt. Anastasia Labadesa. Fernando Lopez Flores. Janexka Orozco. Jonathan Alvarez. Obud Badaman. Sultan Badaman. Melvin Alexander Cardenas. Joel Delgado. Regan DeMarco. Matthew Frankowski. Alberto Garcia. Jessica Camo. Hubert Kuzinski. Christopher J. Linkenbach. Anthony Orbe. Henry Patak. Jesus Rios. Jamaline Rojas. Tania L. Rosas. Yadira Salas. Nicholas Sale. Joshua Sapnu. Ryan Simak. Jackson Smith. Javier Urbina. Jorge Antonio Velasco. Abdullah Almakrami. Bandar Khaled. Bianca Beteta. Jenny Chitlango. Grace Jillian Morales. Khalid Sahari. Emily Silva. Derek Shada. Rebecca Aguilera. Amira Alzarani. Evelyn Astudio. Vanessa Avalos. Alhanuf Ben Medayan. Natasha Damiana Borden. Stefan Bolatovic. Josue Campoverdi. 
Jeanette De La Rosa. Nicole Diaz. Christina Doskochinska. Sandra Fuentes. Jeanette Gill. Bernisa Kamenjasevic. Candice Kip. Maria Goncalves. Rafa Kowalski. Daniello Landon. Edgar Latore. John McGuire. Leslie Rendon. Alondra Salgado. Bianca Ann Spadafino. Andrew Tarpey. Tyler Trojan. Yesenia Valencia. Victoria Valentin. Liliana Vasquez. Camille Wallacek. Jenna Wallace. Claire Violet, Violet Widseth. Widseth. Anna Cabral Gamboa. Daniel Defino. Quinton Eisner. Alan Garcia Baez. Isabella Golabek. Natalia Coco. Grace Krasinski. Bridget Mulvaney. Jasmine Ramirez Morales. Sarah Rosen. Greta Rupika. George Sherman. Natalia Vizorek. I am Jacob Bucher, founding dean of the College of Applied Social Sciences. Madam President, I have the honor to present candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts in Human Services, Bachelor of Arts in Legal Studies, and Bachelor of Professional Studies. They have complied fully with all the requirements of Dominican University's College of Applied Social Sciences, and they have been recommended by the faculty to the trustees to the university for their degrees. Carla Cochran. Matilda Iskra. Maria Paravicini. Nicholas Seaborn. Catalina Louise Reyes. Nola Sardi. Andrea Dior. Nisa Marlene Morales. Guadalupe Arroyo. Clarissa Anais Munoz. 
Crystal Diana Sanchez. Raquel Aguilera Margarita Arcos Sandoval Guadalupe Amy Barron Maria Alejandra Blancas Alice Kosage Gloria Delgado Sandra Delgado Christina Elizabeth Dezano Marella Fasich Ariel Kimbrough Marley Munoz Lizette Ortiz Melissa Portillo Kelly Presa Jasmine Sanchez Quarry Janae Taylor Luis Carlos Mauricio Aguilar Castellanos Katerzyna Bukchek Leo Cardenas Kenneth Claypool Leslie Guadalupe Favela Lourdes Maria Fernandez Mato Justin Hayes Eleanor Horan Alicia Markley Voicek Petrichek Achille Ruffalo Jonathan Seals Andrita Loga Paige Sandra Atkins Caroline Halprin Nicolette Lagrasso Madam President, I'm Dr. Chad Roman, Dean of the Rosary College of Arts and Sciences. I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. They have complied fully with all the requirements of Dominican University's Rosary College of Arts and Sciences and have been recommended by the faculty to the trustees of the university for their degrees. Mohammed Saud Al Juhani, Alexa Folgar. Colette Hamaj. Lauren Hansford. Nicholas Lombardo. Rocio Lopez. Ingrid Monroy. Natalie Stellato. Aaron Torfi. Cecilia Winters McCarthy. 
Diana Zagal. Michelle Achetu. Melanie Julieta Aguilar. Kelly Daknisa Alvarez. Jeanette Nicole Arnold. Roque Antonio Bruno. Jennifer Caldwell. Carla Camacho. Lucy Capone. Mariah M. Cole. Alexander James Diana. Liliana Deneva. Michelle Favela. Natalie Guadalupe Flores. Valerie Gaberic. Christian Galindo. Angie Garcia. Elizabeth Gonzalez. Erica Guerrero Bernal. Evelyn Natsumi Gutierrez Gonzalez. Lorena Guzman. Haley Half. Edgar Hernandez. Lisbeth Hernandez. Julia Caroline Horn. Stephanie Janae Huggins. Priscilliana Witron. Amanda Jenkins. Kevin Lacombe. Wilson McKechnie. Alexis Yadira Madrigal. Carlene McPenter. Emily Mary Mahoney. Pamela Martinez. Elizabeth Mills. Andrea Moreno. Haley Natson. Mayor Patel. Yanesi Pena. Carolina Peza. Kelly Pena. Patrick Piwawarczyk. Eileen Glory Oro. Kelly Reyes. Samantha Yvette Ramirez. Caitlin Reedy. Desiree Reyes. Cheyenne Reza. 
Vanessa Salas. Alexis Arturo Salgado Villagomez. Caroline Isabel Shorb. Leslie Seabree. Stephanie Solano. Luis Enrique Sosa. Paolo Speciale. Vanilla Joyce Sukasi. Christopher Alexander Summers. Alexander Tobias. Maria Tremarco. Fiona Van Taylinger. Pablo Vargas Guerrero. Kayla Charlize Welton. Sylvia Zabigli. Mason Baker. Lisa Baragan Vera. Ingrid Burgos. Gerelda Kestraholm. Thomas Anthony Gibbons III. Tyler Guest. Ignacio Hernandez Jr. Troy Cates. James Mann. Andrew Noah Mariotti. Danielle and Ochoa. Yelizaveta Puskovich. Isabel Schindler. Ivan Trejo. Daisy Lupita Zaragoza. Julius Valencia Akar. Osvaldo Alvarez. Guadalupe Ballesteros. Michael Cross. Dante Dariel Diaz. Armando Jimenez. Dylan McMahon. Dagoberto Ramirez Jr. Kevin Robles. Eric Sigarin. Alexander Tracek. Jared Joy Villapando. Dominic Jakobek. Miguel Zuniga. Sarah Butkovic. Megan Conroy. Jasmine Hernandez Garcia. 
Natalie Marie Mincy. Caitlin Moran. Diana Moreno. Juliana Neza. Sidlali Yvette Ruiz. Miguel Salgado Jr. Megan Marie Walsh. Bridget K. Bazin. Antonia G. Bennett. Shayla Byron. Claudia Cartagena Martinez. Isabel Grubbs. Jillian Jones. Emma McGreer. Mia Sarah Mendez. Anna Moraz. Eileen Moreno. Alicia R. Morgan. Lauren Suddeth. Katia Benitez. Lauren Violet Johnson. Hugo Luna. Margaret McClure. Yvonne Sanchez. Kashmir Shashan Turner. Elizabeth Abad. Jeffrey Adame. Maya Wilson, Esmeralda, Angeles, Castaneda. Steve Carrasco. Jonathan Cruz. Jonathan Hernandez. Anusha Sachin Modi. Alondra Montenegro. Madison Palmer. Samuel Pardenas. Marcos Puma. Ronnie Rivera. Nicholas Roper. David Silva. Mariana Garcia. Yancy Garcia. Sydney Allen Haddox. Jacob Johnson. Blanca Azucena Rendon Isoteco. Karen Rubalcaba. Stephanie Valladares. Annette 
Garcia. George Garcia Michos. Isamar Corina Garza. Kai Larios. Paula Gutierrez. Aleda Lopez Oria. Aisha Mamu. Kiara Sam Ranya. Maria Soto. Jessica Tokars. Noah Andrew Grohl. Laura Alexandra Ramos. Jared Michael Schmuck. Carlos Vasquez. Cassandra Babylonia. Monica Duron. Mary Eterno. Madison Fette. Elizabeth Foot. Gabriella Giza. Stephanie Janae Gonzalez. Samantha Hatfield. Christina Ivanova. Vesela Ivanova. Margaret Yashevich. Tommy Dean Conowitz. Antonio Malazzo. Abigail Barra. Sarah Catherine Patak. Miguel Angel Rivas. Luke Thompson. Kadir Castellanos. Angel Cordero. Natalie de la Torre. Freddy Hurtado. Georgia K. Jackson. Erica Grace Martinez. Stephanie Martinez. Trevionua Tationua Matthew. Shannon Marie Page. Max Ramos. Christina Americano. Laura Clarice Shaw. Alexandra Swobik. Leslie Arroyo Arellano. Emily Ashman. Cecilia Benavidez Rodriguez. Carlos Benitez Cruz. Lauren Dominique Bergert. Haley Calabrese. Vanessa Cárdenas. Catherine Carper. 
Norma Chavez. Brianna Rose Chimaluski. Adriana Hitzabe Cortez. Elizabeth Cortez. Lourdes Covarrubias. Alma Diaz. Mariana Lisbeth Flores Garcia. Leslie Flores La Papasca. Silvia Angela Floretta. Kristen Alexis Garcia. Nancy Garcia. Mimi Guadalupe Gonzalez de la Cruz. Angelis Gorse. Natalie Jones. Katie Kennedy. Jeanette Lechuga. Caitlin Amari Lanier. Melissa Lopez. Alfredo Losa Padilla. Isabella Marie Mashevsky. Larissa Martinez. Jessica Mata. Isabel McGinnis. Leslie Medrano. Antonio Mora Salcido. Gustavo Murillo. Mayra Ochoa. Anali Ortiz. Jennifer Peralta. Kelly Marie Pisan. Tabitha John Price. Claudia Quintero. Alina Ramirez. Brenda Rodriguez. Vanessa Adriana Sanchez. Exenia Shrepfer. Juan Carlos Solis. Cesar Andres Sosa. Jocelyn Urbina Miranda. Maida Vasquez. Leslie Nicole Vega. Stephanie Viruet. Camila Walgett. Vicente Adan Mendez. Christian Xavier Bate Soto. Alondra Bedoy. Karen Camacho. Adrian Zabula. Christian Colon. Nayeli de los Santos. Esmeralda Díaz. Juan Pedro Escamilla. 
María de Los Ángeles Callarso. Luz Marina Gasca. Melanie Gutierrez. Yesenia Hernández. Alejandra Guadalupe Juárez. Mariana Calacailo. Jennifer Vanessa Luna Martinez. Abigail Marchetti. Yaritza Márquez. Yaritza Marroquín. Joshua Mercado. Melody Esmeralda Molina. Michelle Montoya. Catherine Elise Moreno. Carolina Muñoz Agudelo. Jennifer Ochoa Lopez. Mimi Peña. Kate Alejandra Pensamiento. Jocelyn Ramirez. Leslie Ariana Soto. Dustin Stidmon. Denise Montserrat Valentin. Julie Vasquez. Maria Celeste Lemus. Anna Ovito Ramos. Teresa Lauren Cox. Andre Easton. Bryson Reed. Anna Rose Thomas. Lisbeth Montoya. By the power vested in me by the Cincinnati Dominican Congregation, the Board of Higher Education of the State of Illinois, and the Trustees of Dominican University, and with the consent of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Medical Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Arts in Legal Studies, Bachelor of Arts in Human Services, and Bachelor of Professional Studies, respectively. Congratulations, graduates. The diploma that you have earned symbolizes your many years of study and effort. While this may be the end of your formal education at Dominican, it will not be the end of your pursuit of knowledge, nor an end of your relationship with Dominican University. I hope you take a real love of learning and a true sense of pride in your accomplishments from Dominican. We all look forward to hearing of your future achievements and to claim you proudly as Dominican alums. Your diploma also symbolizes the care and support, both emotional and financial, that you have received from your parents, grandparents, spouses, and children. I would like to take this final moment to acknowledge all those who have supported a graduate. Please accept my thanks on behalf of Dominican University. And again, graduates, congratulations. As we approach the conclusion of this ceremony, we have a message from the Alumni Association. Representing the association is Kevin M. Killips of Dominican University's Board of Trustees 
and an alumnus of the Brennan School of Business. Mr. Killips is the immediate past chair of Dominican's Board of Trustees, and most importantly for this moment, a member of the class of 1979. Thank you, Jeff. Dominican University, class of 2021. On behalf of the Alumni Association, I enthusiastically congratulate you on this momentous accomplishment. At this time, I would like to ask my fellow Dominican and Rosary alumni to join me in welcoming you, members of the class of 2021, into the Alumni Association. For the past several years, you have been students at Dominican University. For the rest of your lives, you will be Dominican University alumni. The Dominican University alumni community is 28,000 people strong worldwide who are living out our motto, Caritas et Veritas. These alumni are ready to be an invaluable resource to you as you move forward from Dominican. Please remember that the alumni that went before you have provided significant resources in terms of both time and financial commitments to make the university what it is today. I trust we can count on you as your careers develop to do the same for the future generation of Dominican grads. We hope that you stay engaged. We hope that you stay connected. And I'm very excited to say to all of you, welcome. Before I leave the podium, we have a special surprise event for our great friend and leader, Dr. Donna Carroll. <laughs> Donna, could you join me? So what we have here, everyone, is a bouquet of roses, 27 or one from each year. And I'd like, them, I'd like to present this to my great friend and colleague, and truly a great personal friend, Donna Carroll, for everything she's done for the university, everything she's done for the community, everything she's done for the students, and all that she has done for me personally. So Donna. Thank you all very, very much for, for this moment and for every moment over the last 27 years. As you've heard me say often, but truthfully, it has been my privilege to be your president. Thank you. Sister Jane Boland, Administrative Assistant for the Rosary College of Arts and Sciences will now offer our benediction. Let us pray. Ever present, Holy One, God of our lives, we give you thanks for this day. We give thanks to you for our graduates and for their families, friends, faculty, and staff who have supported them during their time at Dominican. Graduates, may caritas and veritas, love and truth, always guide your actions. May you continue to live out our Dominican University mission to pursue truth, to give compassionate service, and to help create a more just and humane world. Wherever your journeys take you, may the God of all grant you the blessings you need to fully live your vocation. We bless you, our graduates, with the Dominican blessing. May God, Creator, bless you. May God, Redeemer, heal you. And may God, the Holy Spirit, fill you with light. Amen. Please join composer Sue Kaczynski in singing our alma mater, So Proudly Dominican. So to live your name will forever be a vision strong and a wisdom true that will carry for all to see like the light of the candle we bear of 
flame of your truth will shine like the rose that we hold with care the strength of your love will guide us in veritas and in caritas we believe all our dreams be as we follow those who have led our way, oh so proudly to be again. By the light of your guiding star, we know we will find our way to build a world whether near or far that shines with the warmth of daylight in veritas and in caritas we believe all our dreams begin as we follow those who have led our way oh so proudly dominican Congratulations, class of 2021.